Hey everyone, Big Ragu84 here, and today I want to be doing my first ever zombies weapon weapon comparison. And this is actually my first ever video doing the zombie weapon comparison, and I actually hope that it will actually be a good one. So um, I actually got this idea from Mr. T. Lexify. Shout out to him, even though he's probably gonna copyright me for stealing his idea, even though I technically didn't steal his idea. I just started using it, it's just that, um, it's, it looked like a fun kind of video to do, and I just really wanted to do it. So anyways, the two guns we are going to be comparing today is the P08 from Call of Duty World War II, and the, um, M1911, also known as the 1911 from Call of Duty World War II as well. Now these guns are very similar as, um, as they are both a starting pistol, and they are both um pretty decent at killing and they are both kind of like um like I, I don't know how you say it like um they're both um I have no idea oh I know okay so they're both like um I really don't know how, how you say it They're both, but anyways, they're both starting weapons, and they're both, um, they're both very similar as though they are starting weapons, and that they are, like, um, guns that you just, like, use in the early rounds, you don't kind of really, you don't really get rid of them, you just keep them so that you do not, um, actually die, or, not, not so that you don't die, but, like, you keep them so that you can progress through earlier rounds. And they're both starting weapons, and they are both pretty similar, so I thought that they would be a very good comparison video. So we're going to be starting out with the P08, and this is um, a selective wonder weapon, or not wonder weapon, but starting pistol. You can only select this one. You not actually start out with it, but what you can do is you can go into a soldier, you can go to loadout, and you can go to one of your... Um, classes and then you can change the starting pistol from an M1911 to a POA if you so wish. Now I'm going to read to you all of the stats for the PO8. So let's start out with damage for the PO8. We got damage is four according to the main menu screen when you hover over the PO8. Same thing for range except this time it went up a one so it is range is at a five. Accuracy is at an eight and fire rate is at a six. So, um, it has, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, actually, I'll, come, I'll tell you all in a minute when I actually get to the M1911, I'll tell you all right now one downside to this gun, um, that, um, when you pack-a-punch this gun, uh, it just becomes a pack-a-punch version of itself, um, as y'all guys should probably know, hopefully y'all know by now, is that the M1911 has a, you can pack-a-punch it, and when you do pack-a-punch it, it turns into this really, really good explosive dual wield weapon that you can use in the higher rounds to basically survive but with a po8 it doesn't do that it just transforms into a better version of its original self and by that i mean it's still semi-automatic it's still a pistol and all it is is just the bullets are better you get and you get more ammo that's about it now that is the um that is one downside i'm going to tell you right now about it and uh, i can i think um i have another downside to actually the M1911 as well as um like just some more good things about the M1911 and I think I have one more good thing about the PO8 the good thing about this is the fire rate is better now fire good fire rate and good damage comes a great gun this one has good fire rate but not so good damage which is kind of like reasonable not even gonna lie it's kind of reasonable you would expect it to have a really high fire rate but uh, low damage or high damage but a very low fire rate that just like com like evens it out a little bit with the m1911 it has both it has good damage and good fire rate i'm gonna and uh, y'all see what i mean in just a second okay everyone so the next gun i promised to y'all was going to be the m1911 also known as the 1911 is what they call it in this game but i'm used to it being called the m1911 so anyways, the M1911 is, I think, in my own opinion, a better version of the P08. So basically, um, this gun originated in actually Call of Duty World at War, which was made by Treyarch, this game, whereas this game is made by Sledgehammer. 
So, there is uh, already already know one good thing about this pistol is that it, it when it pack punch it, it does turn into a dual wield explosive death machine, and the PO8 does not. But it's still the PO8 is still not that bad when it's pack punch. Now let's move on to the statistics of this gun. So the damage is five, range is six, accuracy is six, and fire rate is five. Now y'all saw that um in um the PO8s um like sort of statistics the damage was four and the of uh, um fire rate was six and that kind of evened it out we're having a high dam her having a low damage but a fast fire rate but this one evens it out even better this one has good damage and good fire rate as you can see it is a little slower than the um po8 but it still does good damage look at this a few shots to the head and they're dead now I wouldn't recommend keeping this gun on the higher rounds unless you plan on pack punching it but if you plan on keeping it the normal way I wouldn't recommend keeping it I probably would um get rid of it if you're gonna not if you're not gonna pack punch it but um you um also have kind of a weird feeling with this gun it feels different than the PO8 it has a slower reload than the PO8 the PO8 literally just flicks out the clip and puts a new one in and those um Reloads seem to be a lot faster, actually, when it comes to this. So, um, it's just like, um, it's kind of like, uh, the gun, the honey badger, I think it was called, from Ghost, and it, like, flicked the thing, the clip out and put a new one in at the same time. That goes really fast. Those reloads tend to go fast. The K Inc. 44 from Black Ops 3 kind of had that effect, but in a different way. They had the clip already in their hand and use the clip to knock the other clip that was already in and they used it to knock it out so um basically um yeah that's what happened and uh, they seem to go a lot faster and the POA has a really satisfying reload but no one cared about satisfying reloads they cared about how fast you can reload uh, I really wish that on the statistics they also had a uh, reload speed one um cause this one would probably be pretty slow or it's not the slowest firing pistol in the game but it's not that fast either um, so anyways, yeah, there is my, uh, list, I think, wait, hold on, yeah, I have one more good thing about the PO8, is that, well, no, that was my good thing, is that it's faster reload, but, my point is, the, I think, um, actually, should I, uh, I haven't actually decided yet whether I should say which one's better, but in my opinion, I'm gonna say the M1911 is better. If you are one to want to make your life a whole lot easier, then I recommend getting the M1911. If you want a good challenge to pack a punch and everything, um, I recommend the PO8. But either way, they're both good guns, so don't go roast me in the comments. As a matter of fact, in, in the comments, I want you to leave a comment telling me which one you like more, the M1911 or the PO8. So anyways, hopefully y'all did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys. Peace.